having fun in the hobby room. Hope you join me. Please subscribe. F86 build. Coming soon. More and more videos. Well, see that little hole right there? Inside the fan. And it comes up through here. Well, that's where my three leads for my flaps, landing gear, and ailerons are supposed to come through. And I didn't put them through there. I don't know if you can see inside there. Let me turn the night vision on here. Maybe get a bright flashlight. See right there, you can see the wires coming out. I'm going to assist a couple of inches down that hole. And that's just not very much fun. So, I got to figure out a way to get these three lines. Now what I'm going to have to do is put three lines with no ends through. That's what I should have had. And I didn't understand the instructions. So I should have had the three ends sticking out here when I glued this front on. Just, and then I would have soldered ends on later. But now I'm in a bind because I have to somehow figure out how I'm going to get three servo lines down there around and up the center there. I'm going to try to use some wires. Um, <laughs> I'm going to try a few things. But I guess as soon as I find something that works and I get it in, then I'll show you. Until then, i got to fix this mistake. So, if you're building this kit, you guys, remember, you got to put the leads through for your flaps, landing gear, ailerons. Okay? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Look. I took a really fine wire. Right? And I ran it down that hole into the opening where the rest of the wires are. <clears throat> I soldered three lines onto here, pulled them through. I'm going to have to cut them off and put the ends on, but that's okay. I got the three wires through. Now, they have to go through this part too. So, I have to put this on, then put the ends on. And then attach the wing. I got to shorten up all my wing wires because I thought they had to go to the front. I made all those long enough. So we'll do that. Now, what did I have to do on the other side? Well, I had to cut just a little slot. And this is where I grabbed the wire. Now these will come through up into here. And by the looks of it, I need to make them longer. So I'll have to extend them into the front here. But that's easy. Well, maybe not. These might be too long on the bottom. We'll have to put the ends on there, put this through, and it's just these couple of little pieces here. It's just three pieces of styrofoam I cut out to make that slot there. Remember, if you do this ahead of time, you got to run those wires. Man, oh man, me bad. I forgot to. I thought I had them all in there. But oh well. It's looking good anyways. Anyways, I'm happy I got these three lines through here without much more. I'll be able to epoxy glue that back in. You probably never noticed I took that out. Well, maybe a little bit, but probably not. It'll look good. And I got my three lines in to hook up my wing. So that's we got to do that. I got to put extensions on here and shorten up all this stuff. This, I think everything has to fit in this little curved spot here all the joints and all the wires because this is going to be on the bottom so i'll start working on that i'll make a few videos anyways just to let you know that i did find a way to get the three lines through here and i needed we'll be back soon just thought i'd do a quick video so here's my where's my right here Three new lines, aha. 
they're being connected over here, starting. I have to wire the three lines, pull them through, then redo the wing wires, and then we'll be back on pace. Oh yes, maybe I can get the wing on this thing and see how it looks. Okay, see here's the three ends coming out this thing, this block. It comes out, where is it through there? So, I have to put this block in, I guess. And then we'll put the ends on here. Push the wires back down so they're just sticking up through there. And we'll mark them aileron, elevator, rudder, whichever. Okay, so we'll do that. And then, on the wing, with the slower downer and all these wires, I have to shorten right up. Wow, so everything fits in this little grooved area here. Maybe I can come on and use both sides. Put the slower down on this side, maybe. Or maybe I'll look at the wing and there'll be a spot there for it. Either way, I got the batteries charged. Yes, I do. Wow. You guys, this airplane is huge. It's going to be such a hoot to fly. I know someone out there that has one Tinkerman RC. He has this exact kit, and his fly is great. I've seen it fly, so. When I saw this kit come up and be available on eBay. I had to get it just because he had one. Oh well. Now I'm gonna make mine fly. His fly is really good. My, oh my, oh my. This thing fills up my hobby room. And we'll get it with a wing on it here soon. I gotta attach. The ends on here, and I already soldered extensions on the front, so they're all done. And all the wiring here, we'll get a receiver hooked up, and um, well, I want to fire the engine up. Then I'm gonna do some hanging on the airplane, I guess, and we'll get the wing and find out where I'm going to put the batteries to get the center balance, the CG. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, so I got these two plugs made. This one here is going to be a different end. It's going to be this end here. They'll connect over to this. Okay, and so this wire. We'll connect that. But first off, all this stuff. See, I thought we had to go long, so all this stuff I make into single. These two plugs have to be shortened right up to here. Because this is going to fit inside of here. You see that? Yeah, get you closer here. It's got to fit inside of there, right? And these two wires, and these two wires, rather than using Y connectors, I'm going to have to cut them down and splice them together and use this one plug off the end, same as this one. So I've got my, this is my landing gear, this is my ailerons, this is my flaps. Remember, i got the controller on the flaps. Okay, so i got that little spot there, and all we have is this little spot here, for all those wires and connectors to fit. So, I've got a lot of cutting and soldering these wires I have to do. At least I got these three wires in. Remember, I've forgotten them, so when you're building this kit, make sure that those wires are in. And then if you're gonna use even, I don't know, I guess you have to run more wires for the air brakes. But that's it. I'll upload this, show people my mistake before I 
anyone goes on because I tell you, you got to take that change before you put the spruce trucks. It's got to be done before the tail section goes together. These wires have to go in. So I'd make sure that's done. But at least I caught it and was able to do it without a whole lot of wrecking it. But we'll be back soon. Oh, I'm going to glue these parts. I mean, um, cut these wires. Get all these attachments made. And then I'll make another video showing this wing going on. And man, we're so close. I guess I gotta make a three way harness for my. That'll be inside the airplane. We'll show the wiring and the rest of the balancing after I finish all this wiring.